Hello everyone, Nick here for another Pride Month vlog, and this time I will be talking about vulnerability and pride. So if I go look up on Google, which is very interesting, and I Google here, is there vulnerability in pride? Two ways, so there's pride and, and vulnerability and praise of men. So there's definitely a bit of uh, a couple of things that are interesting. Pride in too much excess can ruin your life because you put yourself on a pedestal, you say how perfect you are, and you sometimes feed into your ego. And sometimes that can be very detrimental. However, in the case of when you're making yourself vulnerable, like in the case of coming out, I think that's a very vulnerable thing. I think coming out is a very difficult process for people. And even though pride, what Google says is it alters communication and connection, it can, it, uh, I think it can coexist. I don't think pride and vulnerability are, are non-exclusive. I think they are, ex I think they are connected to each other. It's just the balance of how you project yourself that's very important in how you put yourself out there. So when you're prideful, it doesn't mean that you just stomp in the parade and you show off and you flare your nostril at people. The point is you're like, hey, I'm here and I'm queer, meaning, hey, I'm here and I do my own thing and that's what I need to do. And um, I think people mistake that sometimes as being too much in someone's face. And it, it really is more of a defense mechanism. And sometimes we have to put up a wall because that's just how life is. Like, you know, you sometimes you get hurt or trampled on or stamped on. Sometimes your own brother shames you for who you are and tries to tell you that you are a choice. And not everything in life is a choice. Not everything is what it is. Sometimes you just follow who you are. And that is just what you're attracted to. And that's not always a choice, what people think it is. It's just a biological factor. I think people have to look into. So I ask this of you and try to find a, pro a moment where you had your pride being vulnerable. And sometimes like that's how I feel with running because uh, I, I have a lot of pride in my running and my talents, abilities as a runner. And when I don't feel good in running, I feel very vulnerable, especially with my, my body and how I look. Like, um, I know some people are like, Nick, you're too skinny, or Nick, you're too this, but I just have a naturally lean build most of the time, and that's just how I like to exude my, like, my leanness. That's just who I am. And so I ask you, how do you, how are you vulnerable with your pride? Are you vulnerable in a way that you accept yourself, or are you vulnerable in a way that you shame yourself? Because no one should live in guilt and shame for the rest of their lives about who they are. And I think that's very important. So I ask this of you to let go of your shame and your guilt and live as who you are and be vulnerable in your own pride. So this is another pride vlog. So like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys later. And um, God bless, I guess. You know, religion isn't always the solution, but it's not the problem either. So. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I'll do some Grandia. Talk to you later.